Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video because I'm actually doing a collaboration with my girl Casey Aaliyah here on YouTube. She is also another natural hair vlogger. She actually just cut her hair, she just dyed her hair, and she is very consistent in making natural hair videos. She actually has a different hair type than me as well, so definitely go check out her videos. She is bomb.com. But for today's video, we decided to try out top rated products of 2017. They were rated by naturallycurly.com. So we went on the website, picked out some new products, products that we haven't tried before and a few products that we have. But for the most part, I didn't try out any of my styling products. And when it comes to my hair and washing goals, like I know what I like, my hair knows what it likes. So I'm very weary about branching off because you know, sometimes I just be wasting my time and wash and goes take a very long time. So ain't nobody got time to waste. But this was a testing new products, trying new products out. So I was like, why not? So yeah, I was super nervous about it, but I went for it. So we are going to show you guys our wash day routines from beginning all the way to the end. So definitely check out her channel. I will link it down below and somewhere on the card screen. And yeah, let's just hop right into this video. Hey guys, what's up? Let's get this video started. So today I'll be using the Diva Curl One Condition, the Diva Curl No Poo, the Mayo Organics Babasu Oil Mint Deep Conditioner, the Mayo Organics Avocado Hair Milk, and the Curl Keeper Total Control. So these products are all part of the top rated products on naturallycurly.com. So let's see how these products work in my hair. All right, so first we're starting off with Diva Curl No Poo. And this is not new to me. I've actually used this before and I actually own it. And I do really like it. I wouldn't say it's the best thing ever. Um, and as you can see, it does not set up or anything. It doesn't contain any solvates, which is the good thing, but you will see that that's why it doesn't set up. And I feel like I have to use a lot of product to feel like it's actually doing something for my hair. But I can say that it makes your hair nice and soft. So I don't know, is that what you want in like a cleansing conditioner? I don't know. I personally feel like it's not the best thing ever, but it's just okay. So I'm just using this to co-wash and then I'm going to rinse it out. Alright, so next up we have the Mayo Organics Babasu Oil Mint Deep Conditioner and this smells really minty, which I actually really like because I feel like it just gives me a nice tingle and it feels like it's actually working. And guys, when I put this in my hair, I was like shook. I was shooketh okay the product literally just melted right into my hair and i was very weary about trying these products at first because i didn't hear that many good things about it but guys this is a game changer and i think it's going to be a staple of mine now and my hair just ate it up and became so soft and it just melted all of the tangles away but obviously you can see i still do have a little bit of tangles but it was not hard to get through them at all so i am really really loving this conditioner i recommend you try this out if you haven't already because I'm, I'm late to the game okay I have yet to try any of her products but anyway I'm just applying that all over my hair and detangling and this is what it looks like with the deep conditioner slapped all onto my hair and I'm just going to put it up in a plastic shower cap no not even a shower cap I'm putting it up in a plastic bag because that's all I had for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna do my thing and then I'm gonna rinse it out 10 to 15 minutes later so now I'm going to go in with the Diva Curl One Condition and again this product is not new to me and I actually really really love this product. It makes your hair really nice and soft so I actually like to use this as a leave-in conditioner and I always feel like it's good to leave on conditioner before you hop out the shower. Like never wash out all of your conditioner. The only one thing about this product is that it's hella expensive so that's the downside to it. So once the conditioner is all throughout my hair, I'm just going to wrap my hair up with a microfiber towel and then I'm going to move on to the Mayo Organics Avocado Hair Milk and the Curl Keeper. So of course I'm going to be working in sections as usual and I'm just going to be spritzing each section with water because my hair has to be drenched and I'm going in with the hair milk and I was very um, concerned about this product when I first tried it. I really liked the consistency of it, but I didn't see my curls like coming to life. I didn't see them popping or getting defined or anything like that. My hair did feel actually really moisturized, but I was like, this is not going to do anything for my wash and go. So as you can see, I was just looking at it. I'm like, where are my curls? Where? Where? But anyways, we had to move on with the show. So now I'm going in with the Curl Keeper and I had to shake it up because this is a very watery product. And I can't lie, I was also 
not too sure about this product because I didn't see any reviews on it really and if I did they were on like white girls or people with really wavy hair so I was concerned as you can see my face look at my face and another thing is that the consistency it was just super super watery so I was not sure I'm here looking like what is this gonna do to my hair what how is this gonna work so I just decided to layer this product up and it said that it was really good for frizz and if you have a lot of frizz then keep applying more products so that is pretty much what I did So I don't know if you guys can see this, but my ends are just not popping. So I'm just using this detangler brush by London Ivy and I'm smoothing out my hair to create a nice defined curl. And then I'm just continuing to do the same thing throughout the rest of my hair. So again, I'm just applying the hair milk and then on top of that, I'm layering with the curl keeper. And I'm sort of just breaking that through my hair and then doing the hand praying method. the last step for me is to apply more of the hair milk and then to apply a lot of the curl keeper and then I mix it together and then I put that all over my hair and I kind of like the cocktail that it made it this is when I really seen the definition of my hair I was like wow I was actually really surprised like do you see that definition right there do you see that definition so by the end of it this is how my hair looked and as you can see there's a lot of white stuff it kind of looks like I have flakes but all of that is gonna go away and y'all, this is what happens when you don't do your hair in the shower. You just have such a big mess. And now I'm going to pray and hope for the best. And I'm just going to let my hair air dry and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So to my surprise, I was really loving how my hair looked. It was really curly, except for in the back because it was still wet, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I just wish it dried properly so I can show you like the real, real results. But guys, look at my hair. My hair came out super good. I actually thought like I had Diva Curl in my hair. So I was, I was really happy and I can't wait to try this cocktail again. Let me know what you guys think about my hair. Let me know how it turned out. Let me know if you're going to try the top rated products of 2017 as well. And also, don't forget to check out my girl, KC Aaliyah and see how the products that she chose worked in her hair. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next video.